everyone, it's Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to turn anything into a gold statue using the Color Therapy app. This lesson is a really fun way to color dresses or turn anything into shiny gold. It works really well with folds and drapery. If you'd like to follow along, find this image under Fashion, Star Fashion. So I want to first start off by acknowledging the artist that I'm drawing this after. This is like where I got my idea from. I think it's really fun and super cool. So this is my reference. I'm not sure who the artist is. All right, so I'll start off in the gold palette. I'm using the third color on the bottom row and tapping to fill it in. And so I can just focus on the dress itself. I'm gonna color the whole background black. Plus it's also really dramatic. And to get rid of the stars, you'll wanna turn coloring inside the lines mode to on and just using the airbrush tool, just erase them. And I'm using the same color as the dress. And you can also clean up those edges using black with the airbrush tool. Just getting rid of those stars with coloring inside the lines mode, set to off or on depending as you need. And then erasing the hands if you don't wanna include those as well as the leg. And for the leg, I'm just expanding it and opening it up a little bit using black. And this is really just optional. The first step is to use the pen tool. I'm using size two and opacity at 100. And let's keep coloring inside the lines mode set to off. Now we're gonna draw our own little curtains within the drawing. So I'm actually just gonna follow the lines on the template already. And just follow them along. I'm also gonna draw a little line right across where the waist is and above that as well. So I'm drawing these curtain lines just following along the template and they don't have to be perfect. You can also add in your own little curtain lines. I'm doing a little detail here at the top of the dress too. I'm gonna draw little lines coming across from the outside in and just highlighting the top of the dress. And then in a few areas of the curtains, you can draw little circles coming down and up, just kind of to mix it up a little bit. Just make sure that all of your lines are flowing. Now, all we're gonna do is basically trace around those lines again, using colors from the gold palette. So I'm gonna start off with the first color on the gold palette and just zoom into one area. So using that color, I'm gonna just trace around what I just did. So I'm just kind of tracing around within a section and I'm gonna mix it up. Now I'm gonna use the second color on the second row, it's a brown trace around that and then I'm using the fourth color on the second row it's a more of a yellow and I'm just gonna bring that in next to that brown there and lastly there's the fourth color from the right on the top row and it's a brighter gold tone and then lastly you want to use white this is your highlight so I'm just gonna add a little white in there so it's pretty messy and loose that's okay we're gonna blend it so continue with your sections so I'm just gonna add some more Coming down here, just following along those black lines. You can raise the size to 3%, so I would use between two and 3% with the pen tool. So if you have bigger sections, then raise the size. So after the brown, I'm using this gold color and then using the first color on the top row and then the other lighter color and then going to add a little bit of white. So just continue to apply that to the whole dress. And it usually looks best when you have the darkest color fading into the lightest color in each section, but it doesn't have to be that way either. So you can mix it up. If you need to go back and redefine those black lines too, you may. It's always good too to look at a reference if you need. Okay, and then when you're ready, you can begin to blend with the smear tool. So I'm doing size one, intensity 100. So you can blend the colors down and up into each other. The goal is really just to make it look as smooth as possible. And so blending up and down is probably the best for this. And you definitely wanna go with the shape of each thing, each curtain, go with the curves of all the lines. Now, sometimes you don't wanna blend it, so leave a few areas unblended just to add some extra sharpness and that will make it look more shiny. So what I would do is basically work in layers. So I would, I would add your colors and then blend with the smear tool and then go back again and add your colors again. Remember you can lower the size down if you need to, to redefine lines. And you essentially just wanna apply that to the whole thing. And I'll show you a little bit of the top. And this is how I'm applying it to the top of the dress. Just doing some quick short strokes and lines. Now, the gold is gonna look the shiniest and brightest when you have the brightest color next to the darkest color. So if you have black next to the white, it'll look really bright. Just make sure that it doesn't blend into gray. So all those lines that you did far away, will look really sharp and shiny. 
This tutorial can also be used to create a chrome, bronze, or even silver statue. You can even make it look like it's liquid gold by drawing dripping areas. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.